Hey guys, welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is launch day. I am Bill from Good Old Days Gaming. Let's see what we've got in store, man. I'm excited. It's Timmy and Tommy. Good morning. We're so excited to have you here. I must be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. I'm not going to read every word. Yeah, Timmy and Tommy, they were introduced in Wild World, right? Or was it New Leaf? Either way, I'm excited to be playing Animal Crossing on the big screen again. In it for the long haul, yeah, I don't know how long exactly. My name and my birthday, okay, well, you can't change this! Okay, uh oh, caps lock is the stick, okay. My name is Bill, as exciting as that is. I'm tempted to go with Billy, but no offensive words. Well, everybody hates Bills. I am January 15th. You can't change your birthday either. Okay. But yeah, I'm a Capricorn for anybody who's interested in that kind of stuff. Bill, Bill, let's see. <laughs> oh, mass happiness. Here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture. No. Oh, it's just character customization. Okay. I got nervous that the switch was going to elevate, levitate and snap a photo. Choose your style, I see. Cleverly avoiding the word gender for modern times. This is interesting. I am a pasty white person. So, I imagine the first one is the type of people who turn really red with any temperature change. And I don't have that trait. So we're gonna go with the second one. Hairstyles, oh, okay, I see. So here's your like standard Smash Bros, then you got a crew cut. A little bit longer hair. And then some kind of modern style, it looks like. Is that really it? I watched a video of some of these options, and I thought there was more hairstyles. But I'm perfectly fine with being a pretty vanilla dude like the villager in Smash Bros. Whoa. Sorry. Getting used to these buttons. This is the first time I've played the Switch in like two months. <laughs> uh, the short hair is nice. There's no balding haircut, so I guess I'm, I'm just going to go with that. My hair is dark brown. That's looking like what we're doing. Let's see, I got blue eyes. Which blue do we pick? I guess that's kind of like a sea foam, so we'll go with the normal blue. Whoops. Okay. Lots of different eyes to pick from, I see. Maybe you can unlock more hairstyles. I wonder if Shampoodle is going to come back. There you go. That's a, these are pretty standard villagers. You get the, the weird eyelashes. The stoned dude that's been around since the first game. Glasses, it looks like, with those square eyes. Oh, I remember that face, too. That's not so bad. The Pac-Man eyes are weird. It's like he's staring at a marble or something. I don't know, I'm fine with, like I said, just being a vanilla dude. Like, this is good, I think. Although, should we get eyebrows too? I don't know. Why does it matter? I'm spending too long with the customization here. This looks pretty good. What's next? Nose and mouth. Although, just one last look. Yeah. I think we're going to stick with that. So, nose and mouth. <laughs> You'd be a gopher. That's not so bad either. I'm torn between these middle two. I don't know which one to pick. I like this, but I don't know how it's going to change in the game. It probably doesn't matter. Circle nose, triangle nose, that's the standard, right? The first game, everything was a triangle. I'm kind of thinking the triangle, honestly. Or this. The square looks weird. Cheeks. What is this blush? Interesting. I'll just leave that alone. Yeah, all right. This looks like a pretty standard guy. I don't know if we unlock more options as we go. Probably can't do anything about the outfit right now. That's pretty pale too, but I don't know. None of this matters really, does it? You can change your look later. Yeah, all right. So we'll go pretty vanilla to start. Yay, mass happiness. Now 
we gotta name the place, right? That's the thing I've been pondering and I don't know. Oh yeah, the hemisphere thing. Well, I'm in the northern hemisphere. It'll probably detect that, I imagine. Yeah, North America, because that, that's where my switch is registered or whatever. I keep hearing voices. Is that just the ambiance of this place? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yes, now I gotta pick a map. All these decisions that make you question, because they're permanent. All right, what do we got? Four maps, is that it? We can't cycle anymore? I don't know where we're gonna be. I'm assuming by the leaf icon. So that one traps us into a river. Actually, they all trap us into a river corner. I'm trying to think. Let's imagine the map being populated with tons of people. This one's kind of neat. This one's a little crazy too. I kind of like this one. It's separated into kind of like three, four even. That might be easy to memorize where stuff is, having three big chunks. Oh, it's so hard. But yeah, let's just not think about it. Wonderful choice. If you could only bring one thing, what would you bring? A sleeping bag? Well, that seems... Wait, does this actually matter? A lamp would be nice. Some, oh, I thought that said something to kill me at first. Uh, uh, let's see. A sleeping bag. Well, I don't know. Some food might be better. Because doesn't food have an extra purpose in this game now? It's not like you ever actually have to sleep. Tom Nook sets you up. We're going to go with food. Oh, it was a hypothetical? Wait, was it really? Yeah. Make their way to the cage. Perfect timing! Let's all board the plane together. Yeah, that's right, you get some villagers that are just random. I'm hoping for Jeremiah. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook's deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. I will do that. Oh man, look at how great it looks! Animal Crossing on the big screen again. I want that beach ball. Dude, look at that bug! Everything looks amazing! Yes, that's what I want to be doing, fishing in the rain. Look at the snow too, man! What a graphical leap from all the previous Animal Crossings. Yes, I'm excited for the crafting too. I liked that. Oh, that's a Hylian Hy loach or something. Yeah, the museum too. I can't wait to catch the fish. That's gonna be my primary thing. Fish and bugs. I wanna work on that museum as fast as possible. A Nook Inc. production. Tom Nook, man, he knew we would all be isolated and wanting to get away on an island. It is weird timing, isn't it? I think so. Look at that little airplane down there. Oh yeah, the trees rustling. I can't wait for the wind and the rain and all the weather, man. I hope there's thunderstorms. I see a DIY craft station. Who are these two? We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Join us for a short orientation in the plaza. Our fearless leader, Tom Nook. If you'd like to move, L, follow us. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Lyman? We gotta get a move on. Come on, he's, he's a jock, isn't he? What the heck? Mira? 
does she want to be that, uh... Who's the chick from Suicide Squad? The Batman girl? Why can't I think of her name? Harley Quinn. Yeah, there you go. Can I do stuff and ignore the plaza? Uh-oh. I think my character was walking on his own. I was afraid of that. I noticed it in Breath of the Wild recently. I think I have a case of Joy-Con drift. Mira's here. And Lyman. And Bill, of course. Yeah. Mr. Nook. Wow, why don't we name the place? A simple tent. Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot. All right. Where'd they go? Who are you? Timmy? Okay. Thanks for the tent, dude. Press X to do the inventory. Okay. Yes, I was thinking about the map. I want to know more about this island. How do you do the map? Is it plus or start? You didn't tell me the button for the map. We have to discover the map button. Uh, not minus. X is that, all right. Oh, there we go. It's, a, was that D-pad right? I can't pick anything up. Nothing seems to be working. You are, wait. I got it, don't tell me. You're Bill, right? See, I told you I had it, a mirror. Cottontail, that's her word, okay. The wind is amazing already. Alright, well, where do we want to be? I heard Game Explain saying don't build on the beach because even though waterfront property is enticing, it doesn't really work with stuff that comes later in the game. But I do want to be by the river, I think. This looks like a good spot. Yeah, the map seems assuring. We're pretty close to Tom Nook's whole tent. Whoa, that's not going to work. Trying to figure out. I guess it always goes above your character, so this might work. Yeah, it looks kind of good, but... I want to kind of move it. I wish you could move it there instead of having to move your character again. Uh, that's a little too close to the riverbank. Because in that Game Explain review, that's like my only frame of reference so far with this game. They were saying something about fence posts, and that was the problem by building near water. This might still be a problem, but... Yeah, it looks good for now. Can always move it, right? I think. Yes! I set up my tent. It's a first, a big first step. Now, I believe we have to help the others. Oh, I see fish. This world looks amazing, dude. Can I pick this? What button picks stuff up? Well, that's weird. Yes. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others need assistance. Yeah. All right, well, we know where the one is. What is this? Guess we can't really do anything yet until we get through this tutorial stuff. She has like an echo to her voice. It's really weird. No, I don't like you in this spot. You're too by too many plants and trees. I'll find you a spot. How about that? I think that's the option. For real? You're gonna pick out the perfect spot for me? Yes. So you're gonna. Is she wearing a Santa suit?
All right, well, we could be neighbors with her, maybe, but not too close. I don't want to put her on the beach. The beach is going to be where I set up some furniture, like, I don't know, a hammock. That would be nice. Let's just find some open space kind of near where we are. Should be pretty good. Oh, this is pretty open. I don't know how new villagers work in this game. Like, you know how in the GameCube one, you would just see a random sign post? Yeah, um... Could shimmy it to the right a little bit, I think. There we go, smack dab in the middle. Whoa! How come she's got a crazier tent? Alright, where'd that other dude go? Do we check in with Tom Nook? Or how about you? What are you gonna say? The sweetest spot, yeah! That Lyman guy. That just keeps reminding me of the Collective Soul song, because I, I used to always think they said Lyman. It, it is Collective Soul, right? Doesn't show him on the map anywhere. Let's just go run, and he can't be far, right? Wait a minute. I like this dude's colors. Yo, I'm Lyman. You're Bill, right? Nice to meet you, Chips. <laughs> what? I'll be doing some serious cardio. Yeah, okay, he's a jock. Yeah, I'll find him a spot, too. What is he, a koala? I like him, though. That is a perfect green. Big nose, though. <laughs> Judging the villagers already. Easy now. I can't wait for things. There's not really much open space. I mean, there is, but I, I, it's got to be right, man. These things are permanent and they matter. This is a good spot. Right down here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It goes above weight. This is a little bit cumbersome, I got to say, but I know it'll get better. It's just a matter of getting used to it. And understanding stuff like this is always above your villager. That's too close to the tree. Like, it would be nice if they put... Kind of like free reign when you want to plop the tent, go into kind of a build mode, and then just be able to quick toggle where you want that square based on what's on the screen. I think that would have been better, but... Hey, it's sunset all of a sudden. It's about 8 in the morning right now. It's an island warming party, yes! A few supplies, okay. Okay, they'll set, set up the button. Bill and Tom Nook are gonna get some firewood, alright. What's up, Tom Nook? My bro from 2001, too? Whenever they... Oh, dude, he's sweeping, that's awesome! Ten tree branches. Branches. Why did I come out? Press Y to pick them up. I tried that. I guess now we can do it. I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect the real cherries. <laughs> All right. I like this Lyman character going around sweeping the dirt. I see many great adventures with him. Or since. How many did he say? Ten. I've already stopped counting. I don't even know. But yeah, hopefully this is going to be a very casual let's play. This is kind of welcome. Anytime. Seven, okay. But I don't know. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. I'm used to Animal Crossing getting boring right away. Because there's only a little bit you could do each day. But this game seems like it's going to have a lot more. And so video length is a question. But I guess we'll figure that out as we go and try to come up with some kind of happy medium. Loving the music and the atmosphere already. I wish I had a net to catch that guy. But that should do it. Lighten my load. Why don't you do that, Tom? Nope. 
Something to snack on. Yeah, I could go for a snack. They look like cherries, they smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine cherries. Collect six of them, all right. Oh, I know about shaking trees. Don't you worry. He said six, right? Hey, what happened? That cherry disappeared. And I got clumps of weeds. Did I squish the cherry? It just disappeared under my foot. Oh well. Hopefully they grow back faster than the original came. Now what? We got a campfire and a snacks. Yay! I like the clapping noise that they do. Oh yeah, that fire. Yes, everybody clap. <laughs> I have participated in many ventures. Yes, you have. Skills as an outdoorsman. Look at his face. Yes, okay, here we go. What should we call it? All right. This I kind of pondered for a while, and it doesn't really roll off the tongue. And the spirit of democracy. Oh, that's so cool. Can you pick from, like, what they decide? But all right, you can't change this. This is, like, everybody's panic attack moment, but this is a word I recently discovered. It's a Welsh word. You pronounce it heraith, I believe. Some people say heraith, but I think that's wrong. You have to roll the R. But it is a Welsh word that basically means a homesickness for a home to which you can't return, even a home which maybe never was. And it encompasses all the things, the nostalgia, the yearning, the grief of like all the lost places of your past. And I think it goes above nostalgia and homesickness, so yeah. It's just something I feel like really fits. Swoleville! <laughs> Wait, I kind of want it to be Swoleville now. You can clap for the one- Wait, how do you do the clapping? Enthusiasm and naming sensibilities. Yes! That's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Hirife. Again, it doesn't really roll off the tongue. I might not say it much. It rocks. Yes. However you want to say it, Hirife or Hirife. But it's basically a deeper cut that means nostalgia, but nostalgia is not enough to define it. It's more than that. And I feel like, oh, I'm resident representative. Say a word or two. Howdy. A word or two. <laughs> I like that one. Yes, everybody likes it too. You will get used to my humor. Let's have a toast. Yes. Wow, where are we storing these things from? Everyone have it. Wait, I could have a beverage in hand. Yes, I do. Made from cherries. Well, that's not what I'm drinking. Yes, the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Very tasty indeed. Now what? Look, he's doing the tambourine to the actual music. That's amazing. Oh, look, it's definitely... I'm not touching anything. Joy-Con Drift! Why do you exist? I don't even think Nintendo's doing that free repair thing anymore. I'd like to sit around this campfire. Chilling by the fire. 
Like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, Cottontail. She's got the same fluffy texture as Yoshi from Yoshi's Craft. A short nap? Uh, I'd like to party with everybody, but I'm assuming we gotta progress things by doing this. Is this... What is that? A bed? A camping cot. Nice, a few packages in there. That cherry juice looks amazing. I actually do want it. Well, the drift doesn't seem too terrible. Like, I could work with it. But yeah, I definitely started to notice it recently, and this definitely proves that it exists. I don't know if I want to spend 60 bucks or whatever it is for new Joy-Cons, though. We got boxes in here. This isn't going to work, is it? Oh, no, it found room. Now there's a whole new way of placing furniture, though, I remember. But for now, we'll go with the old school method. A pink stereo. And a lantern, okay. I broke a lantern like that once. I went camping with my best friend when I was about... 10? 9? And my friend was fidgeting with it in the car or something, and then... We were each carrying stuff to the actual campsite. And I held it from its handle on the top and the whole bottom... It wasn't screwed in, so it just shattered everywhere. It was, uh... I felt bad, because it... I don't know. What? The radio was on. It's just gibberish. It sounds like Splatoon. Oh, now it sounds like the Animal Crossing music. Welcome Horizons is currently playing. Well, let's turn it off for now. So do we just... Rest my head for a little while? Uh, sure. I'm getting sleepy. Interesting. I'm excited to just get to the part where it's free rain, do what you want, shake trees, catch fish. Hey, it's this dude. KK Slider. Looks like you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. daddy -o. Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, it's true. Friends are where it's at. I'm doing a bit of that myself, my bad. Oh, here we go, in sync with real time, so it should be a little after 8. Man, look at the textures on him, too. It's that Yoshi texture, the felt. Very nice. Tom Nook, are you in there? I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. I've been up, dude. Is this where we get the phone? It's a brand new day. I slept that long. It was like two minutes, dude. There it is, the Nook phone. What do I do? Oh, he does it, okay. That's neat. 8.27 a.m., yep. Good, good. <laughs> like how you just can sometimes hear the words. 
Have you ever used a smartphone before? Uh, yeah, I have one on my own. You'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. We'll just see about that, Tom Nook. What is this? It's your itemized... Of course it is, Nook. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of... What, actually, that's not bad for Tom Nook standards. 49,800. Wait, you don't have any prowls. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Yes, this is what, time number four now? You could pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call it this extremely helpful service, the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. Simply living your life. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. Sweet, we already got some miles. That's not bad. Yes. Again, the town name doesn't really roll off the tongue very easily. It has no direct English translation. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Yes! And there's mail in the thing. From now on, your island will match the flow of real world stuff. Don't press power when you see the thing in the top right. All right. And you can press minus to save. All right. Wait a minute. What's the ZL business? Oh, I see. Well, let's look at our Nook Miles. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Resident Services Center. Alright. Yeah, I like this idea, though. Objectives. We've got some, it looks like. We traveled a long way. And earned our first miles. 500. Nice. We needed 5,000, he said. I wonder how fast you can get that. Angling for perfection. Yes, 10 fish, I would gladly do that. But we need a fishing rod. Island togetherness. Okay, talk to people. That should be pretty easy. Bugs, same as fishing, yes. Flower power, yeah. I'm not really a big planter in these games, but... Go ahead, be shellfish number of seashells that you sell. Oh man, that the tongue twister got me. Yes, this is what I wanted to see. Oh, okay, you can make it display all the time. That's actually probably helpful, at least in the beginning. Okay, we only have two community buildings. Minimap always off. Wait, always on. Wait, off while moving. Yeah, I'm going to have it on that, I think. Just to give me time to learn this map for a little bit, and then I'll probably just turn it off. Your passport? Uh-oh, is this something I'm going to have to hide for now? I don't know if it has... The friend codes and stuff still exist. Okay. Cherries are our town thing. Deserted Island Relocator. Interesting. Rescue service, that's the, uh... Rossetti thing. Nintendo sent us something. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Alright. I'm trying to remember the present that Nintendo bundled in with, um... The first game. It was an NES game, wasn't it? Okay, what did we get? A Nintendo Switch, yes! Can I use its Joy-Cons? 
A simple DIY workbench. DIY. Wow, this is already well over 30 minutes. Oh well. It might be a long first episode until I figure out the pacing of things. Oh, this is neat. Can you do things with it? Oh yeah, it makes the switch noise. That's awesome. I wonder if they'll update it and let you play Nintendo Switch Online. Like the NES and the Super Nintendo games. That would be really cool. Just a nice nod back to the original game. I love the wind blowing on the trees. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you doing, laundry? That spot you found me is just incredible, thanks! I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, Chips. <laughs> Why does he say Chips? Oh, yes, our first gift! A hat! Nice! The outdoor hat is perfect for... I don't know, I don't even know. I'm already kind of regretting the town name. I don't know. I just think the word is fitting for how I feel on a daily basis. It's fitting for the theme of this channel. Whoa! I actually don't like it. How do I take it off? I thought it was an actual baseball cap for a minute. Well, we could sell it. However, selling... Wait, can you take off everything? Oh yeah, running around in the undies. Interesting. Well, let's not actually do that. Not yet. Maybe when the weather gets warmer. That's interesting. I wonder how many people are going to live their days in their underwear. Who are you, Tommy? It's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. I like his little flag. Alright. Ooh. Our first bells. That's nice. I'm going to hold off on the cherries. Although, I guess we could grab them, too. Can't do anything with the fire. There's a bird on the bulletin board. We'll use this board to post important notices. Yeah, okay, just the... Pretty standard welcome stuff. What are you doing? Are you gonna give me a gift, too? A recipe for a leaf umbrella. I remember that umbrella. That's one of my favorite ones, actually. Now that's a lot of weeds. Ask Tom Nook. Yeah, that's our next thing. We gotta get some tools. I know you gotta craft them, so... Oh, it's doing things. Well, let's just talk to Tom Nook instead. Pollen is really bad today. My eyes are bugging me. Cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. No, not always. Timmy. A rather generous policy. Okay, how do we do the workshop? About that workshop. The DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. Yes. Sure, let's do it. I happen to be free right this very moment. Thank you for making me not wait, because that would have been terrible, actually. Yeah, alright. I like this concept, though. Yes, yeah, a fishing rod, that's what I want most. Five tree branches. Do I have that? No, I don't. Okay. I have three. Fishing has always been my favorite part of Animal Crossing. It's 
So I'm definitely very excited to get deep into that again. But yeah, I got a pollen alert on my phone when I woke up. Well, actually, I've been up for a long time. But, uh... I tried to go to the store early to get the physical copy of this. Before it got crazy, but it was even busy at 6 a.m. I came back and disinfected everything that I bought. Threw out all the plastic bags. I don't have recycling in my place. So I have no choice but to throw it out. But yeah, they say that that virus can stay on plastic for, I forget how long, but. All right, to the workbench. The flimsy fishing rod, five branches. We got 11 sticks, let's do it. Yes, I made a flimsy fishing rod. It looks like a toolbox. That was perfect. And that's it. That's all we need to know. Okay. Yes, give me... Is it all the other tools? That would be amazing to have all the tools from the start. No waiting day by day like in the first game. I like that phone interface. All right, gotta show Tom Nook until Blathers appears somehow. What else can we get? What did we just get from him? A net and a campfire. Yes, we could do the net too. Beautiful. The two most important tools, in my opinion, is the stuff I'm most excited about. Um, we could keep crafting. I don't know how much the campfire is going to cost. No, we need three tree branches. Why can't I say that word anymore? We've gone stupid. I don't know. What happened to the leaf umbrella that the girl gave me, though? Why is that not available? Hmm. Is it in... Learn. Oh, okay. Now we can do it. Wait, did we get miles? We did! Island togetherness. Oh, that's just from talking to people. That's amazing. 300. Unhindered wallflower. What's that all about? At this rate, we might get to 5,000. Well, I don't know. I would imagine they don't make it too terribly difficult so you could get going with things. You sell stuff? A hammock, that would be really nice actually, but I can't afford anything. How do I sell stuff to you is what I want to know. You could sell weeds, that's kind of interesting. What is this box all about? A recycle box for all the island residents to use. Okay, so this is like the dump from the first game, sort of. A cardboard box. I want it. How do I sell it to you? He didn't have the option in his menu. Unless he does now. Oh yeah, okay. So, we could sell... How do you do multiple? Oh, it just is multiple by stint. Okay, that's good. We'll sell that hack because it... I don't like it, really. Clumps of weeds. 
Probably save the tree branch because we know we need those. We don't really need the cardboard box. Six hundred and twenty-five bells. I, that's probably a rip-off, but it sounds good right now. So something new happened. Did we just get miles for that? Greedy weeder. Ah. If we sell fifty weeds. Yeah. It seems like we'll be able to hit 5,000 pretty quickly just by doing this standard stuff one time. What is this thing blinking for? Oh yeah, the umbrella. 15 clumps of weeds. Okay. I like that umbrella though. Okay, well, yeah, I guess this is going to be a fairly long episode. We'll try to get just this tutorial stuff, the 5,000 miles at least. I don't know, it might take a while, but I'm hoping it'll be pretty relaxing and stuff and we'll have more to talk about as we go. So let's go fishing, because that's what I'm most excited about. I want to get that pole vaulting thing too. That just seems cool, jumping across the river. You could never do that before. Any fish? Aha! There's a little fish. Oh, that's not gonna work. Well, maybe. No. If it's anything like... I'm gonna keep comparing it to the original GameCube game, because that's the one I played the most. And I played Wild World barely. And New Leaf a little bit, but... Whoops, I got excited! Alright. <laughs> I'm a little fidgety right now, I don't know. So, we'll get all these weeds, I suppose. Craft the umbrella. Maybe they have another use, too. Those cherries look really good. Like, they look better than real-life cherries. The perfect smoothie cherry. Get some stuff to sell. I don't really know what I'll be wanting to buy, but I want that fish. Oh, I gotta get closer. Something's in the sand. I remember that from a treehouse presentation. You can lure that thing out of the sand and catch it. This isn't gonna work, is it? Are you gonna see it? Yes. Oh boy! Wow, it's rumbling like crazy! Look at that thing! Is that a, just a typical sea bass? No, wait, it's at least a C plus! Yes, they got the puns! I like the puns. And... Is that a tiger butterfly? They've been around too. Yeah! I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. Ha ha. Yeah, I don't know how to lower that thing that's shooting water out of the sand. It's some kind of a, a mollusk or something. Let's catch a bunch of these. I wonder if they stack. I would assume so. That was the big problem with the original game. It's like nothing stacked. My question now is when does blathers come? Because I definitely want to work on that museum. They often flutter by. Oh, what that rocks for? Crafting material, probably? I just can't get over the textures of this game. They look amazing. All the little fuzzy bumps on everything. These guys will probably sell for a decent chunk. We only need the one for the museum. And if need be, we could plop them down anywhere. That's what's so amazing. You could put furniture outside. I definitely want to build something on the beach. This is probably just your typical bass, I would assume. 
Could be anything, though. Ah, crap! I am fidgety on the button again. I gotta get used to it, or I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time I've played Switch in about two months. I'm just anticipating it to go under. Oh, there we go! What is that? A freshwater goby! Or is it go by? Time to go bye bye. So I guess it's go by. I thought it was goby. There's another new specimen. They're all over the place. I like this. Oh no, I scared it away. There's no bridges, are there? That's interesting. I'm stuck in this one little third of the island. Got to figure out how to craft that vaulting pole. So hopefully everybody's doing all right, whether you're isolating or whatever. Apparently you can't mention why we're isolating. It's like a thing that you could, I don't understand it at all, but people are getting punished for saying why. They don't stack. Okay. DIY workbench. I would like to put that by the house or the tent, I guess. Oh, that's a big fish right there. I want it. Man, if only we could jump to the other side. What are you doing? My heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. Okay. Look at this dude with his tent. You're done doing laundry? How you doing, chips? What's the latest? Uh-oh, are you asking for money already? Oh no, it's just... Introductory dialogue, I guess, to remind newcomers and stuff how to get money. There's a lot of weeds, though. I wonder if you get a ranking as you go along, like in New Leaf, there was that make the town beautiful, what do they call it, an ordinance? Wasp nest, yeah. If you get restung, then you faint. You sell medicine, okay. This is kind of neat. Um, I've heard mixed things. Some people like that you start with nothing, and other people kind of wish you kind of had more going on from the start. But um, I imagine it can't take too long to really start having like the museum and other things to shop at. Ooh, what is that? A carp? A crucian carp. My skills are sharp. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems to get a little bit worse every day out there, so it's kind of nuts. Oh, we gotta craft this. I thought it was just a thing I could plop down. Hmm. I don't want to sell all the animals, because what if I can't get them again? I don't know the fish cycles. I mean, I would assume they're gonna be around for a while for springtime. But you never know. This water looks amazing too. Dang it, man, again with that. What is wrong with me right now? I don't remember how to play. Yeah, my nose is a little bit runny and my eyes are really dry, but I'm pretty sure it's just allergies because of the pollen. Well, let's see if we can unlock anything new. What 
does he have? A soda can? What should I do? That is the question. Well, this island is a diverse habitat for many interesting creatures. Yeah, I was just catching some. Oh yeah, he was asking to see some. I found a creature. Well, let's see. What was the first thing I got? It was the bass. The sea bass. What a catch! I do believe this is a sea bass. Hmm, if this island can support a sea bass. Why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might have, yeah. Yes, get blathers here, please. Oh, wait. Are you, is it just going to be in the museum, then? Oh, that's going to be helpful. The Critterpedia. <laughs> Does it actually tell you, like, the dates and the times? Well, either way, you're going to have to catch it first before you know anything about it. I have more stuff to show you. This might take one by one. This might take a while. Yes, please send it to Blathers Museum. I hope they do go to the museum whenever Blathers does get here. I hope they're just automatically in the museum. Uh, whoops, actually, I haven't really been using that workbench. Yes, give me more recipes, more tools. I need the shovel, I need the axe, and I need that new pole vaulting thing. They require wood, that's a good sign, like the axe, yes! I definitely want to craft the axe. A birdhouse? Tiki torch, that's always a nice piece of furniture. That would go good outside, too. Iron nugget, where the heck do you get that? And hardwood. I'm missing a tree branch, dang it. Okay. Well, we got plenty of weeds. Let's cra craft the umbrella. Probably just store it away in the tent for now until an actual rainy day. I still have more creatures, man. Let's see, what happened when we given them um, the common butterfly? I'm gonna assume that these go straight to the museum. I, I wouldn't see why not. A proper reward, yes! Oh, flowers. Okay. We might be able to get some miles for this. There was that one planting one. But anyway, while we're, uh, dropping off all these creatures to Tom Nook here, I guess I could further explain that word, the town name, Harith. I don't know, I just like that concept of it where it could also, it's not just nostalgia for a, a home or a time that you used to live, it's also one that possibly never existed. Like you could feel a yearning and stuff for a time that you never even lived before. And I get that a lot too. Oh, we got a watering can here. Or a recipe for one, that's right. We gotta craft every little thing, it seems like. <laughs> I like that chuckling noise that he does. Almost 9 a.m. Getting tired, honestly. I don't know if you could tell. Soft wood. So we gotta get the axe going. Have a nice DIY. 
slowly but surely getting closer to 5,000. I don't know. I might have to just not worry about it. Because we've already got a really long video here, but... But yeah, like when I watch Back to the Future and they go back to the 1950s, I always wish that I was growing up in that time. Like I could go back. And uh, even just watching interviews from like the late 80s, early 90s, I always want to go back there too. Someone's calling. Is it Blathers? Yes! Tell me he just flies over. There's no way of knowing just yet, but I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens. Oh yeah, if that doesn't send blathers coming this way, seriously? That is very exciting. Well, geez, just hang up on him, why don't you? Yes. He's gonna come to our island and help us identify, yes. What is this? Since we've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to find a spot for blathers? A good sized spot? Well, I'm limited, man. The river's in the way. I want to sell this junk. Well, I have extra tiger butterflies, that's good. And the uh, seashells. Probably hang on to the weeds, you never know. What we may need to craft and... I don't know about the seashells, but... Yeah, look at that, now we're getting some money. We're getting somewhere. Can't wait to get a new outfit. The jeans are all right, but... Well, I mean, the shoes are bugging me. Like some weird loafers or something. Penny loafers. I hear crickets and things. That usually that used to mean that a bug was nearby. In the trees or something. Hmm, this is probably the biggest spot we're gonna find for blathers. I don't wanna like put it by trees and overtake the trees. Down here could work, but it seems a little clustered at that point. I wish I could go to the top left, above the river. Well, we're gonna have to make do with what we have, I suppose. Question is, how big is the museum to start? I do know that Blather starts in a tent. Oh, that's huge. Um, yeah, that could work, because if we move it too far to the left, it'll intersect the river. Crap, and he raised a cherry tree, though. Whoops. Well, there goes money and food. I don't know, that might prove problematic later. Unless there's a way to move it. I guess in that respect, games like Dragon Quest Builders and stuff are better because you have full control! Uh, it seemed like from the videos that they were showing off, catching bees is a lot easier in this game. Maybe? If I could, wait, I gotta time it. Oh, too late. Well, it's not Animal Crossing until you get stung by a bee. Wasps even, but hey, we could pick up the, the hive. That was always a lot of money in New Leaf. Well now, was it Timmy or Tommy who warned us if it happens again, we're gonna faint? I don't know, it still seems kind of, uh, slightly bland, but that's it's just because we're not really 
We don't have everything available to us yet. I like it though, it's very relaxing. So now... Okay, we're just free to get some miles. That's good. I'm curious how much this hive sells for. But I wonder if I save and quit and then reload it, if Blathers will be here or if it takes it a, a full day. 300 bells? I seem to recall it was worth more than that, but I can't remember, honestly. I kind of wonder if I should have saved it now. It's probably useful for recipes. I wonder if you can make food in this game. Yeah, we gotta get the 5,000. He doesn't want anything prematurely. Okay. So, the question is, do we keep going and do that stuff, or, I don't know. But yeah, I found that town name pretty fitting for this, because 2002, playing this game with my friends and stuff, we would go over each other's houses. We can get the axe now. Wait a minute. Like, it's not all negative and stuff, but it's stronger than homesickness and nostalgia. And, yeah, I think it just fits with Animal Crossing, because I remember in 2002 going to, like, my friend's basement and visiting each other's villages and stuff. And it may be all available, same thing here. Brand new Animal Crossing game, how is it any different? But it is different. It kind of speaks to that part of the definition of the word where it's a home that you cannot go back to. So yes, I may be playing Animal Crossing here in 2020 all over again, but it's not 2002. I can't go to my friend's basement. And even if I did, there would probably be a sense of melancholy in the air. Because it's not the same. This is neat. I like how you can chop the trees and not actually get rid of them. I don't know. I think you can still chop them down, though, so we'll play it safe and just do, hey, hardwood. That's right. That was part of something. Crap! Uh, <laughs> why did I do that? No! Wait, what happens? Uh, we have a message. That time didn't pass. Time is real time. Wait, did we get miles for passing out? Okay. Wood from trees gives you... So, like, every little thing that you do results in miles. That's nice. That definitely gives incentive. Taking the sting out. Getting stung again before you recover makes you faint, but at least you get some miles for that. Hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Take some medicine. Wait, did you give me medicine too? Teary-eyed crybaby. Easy now. It wasn't my fault. Well, I guess it was my fault. Took an axe to a tree. Well, okay, nothing lost. It is Animal Crossing after all. Yeah. Now it's starting to feel a little more... Apparently there's a tool ring, but you, Tom Nook has to give it to you first, so we gotta progress. But it's like a hotkey that you can select all of your main tools. Shouldn't all bu butterflies be yellow? Alright, well we got a new one. I like how Tom Nook takes them though. trying to remember I had pears back in the GameCube days my very first village had pears as its native fruit I think I named it Coolville or something like that because you know 2002 create T 
creativity just didn't exist in my younger brain. I don't know. But yeah, no, going back to my town name, because I know it's a little bit weird, doesn't roll off the tongue very well. It's just the definition that I really like. Because I didn't know such a word stronger than nostalgia existed that better fits how I feel on a daily basis and encapsulates perfectly like what it's like to get together with old friends again and stuff. Like, it's always great. Uh, I don't know what... Log stakes must be a fence. So we can't really do... We could do the watering can. But yeah, obviously getting together with friends again, no matter what, is always fun. But I guess I'm always very aware of how different stuff is, too. And so, like I said, I think the best way to describe it is there's kind of like a melancholy in the air sometimes. Because you can't go back. It can't be the same. Uh, what should I do? You got anything? I want this vaulting pole, man. Yeah, he just wants us to get these nook miles. Okay. Just for shopping, okay. I don't really know if I want to spend bills just yet, because we might need them for something better later. Wait, what? We got some. Okay, if your tools break, just make more. Creative enthusiast. 2,000. How are we going to get 3,000 more? Jeez. I mean, the original game had a really long tutorial, but this is actually seeming longer. Although, that said, we are still kind of doing a lot of the free-for-all stuff. It does feel weird not being able to do favors for the villagers yet, though. It's definitely a different feel to open up, and I'm curious to see, in a couple days, who's going to move in and what's going to become available. Well, let's plant these flowers. Now that we have the watering can... Whoops. I wanted to do just a straight line, but whatever. What game in introduced the watering can? Was that also Wild World? These sounds, man. I could just leave this game on and fall asleep. Okay. What happens if we eat a cherry? One out of ten. What does that do? I believe I saw somewhere something about the food, but I forget whatever the person in the video said, the reviewer. It's probably Game Explain again. Nah, he's still got nothing new. Yeah, at this rate, I'm not sure we're going to get to the, uh, the 5,000 in a timely fashion here. But then again, I know I'm going to keep playing today and get it, and if I'm not recording when that happens... I don't like, see, that's the thing now that I'm seeing how long this intro is. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to 
what I'm gonna record, what I'm gonna play on my own time, if anything, or if it's all gonna be recorded. Oh, okay, if you eat food... You could break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Okay, so you become an incredible hulk or something by eating. But is that good though? Do the rocks come back if you destroy them? Might as well eat these five cherries and find out. I do know that eventually, I don't know if it takes a day or whatever, but you can apparently go to just some randomly generated island that's not associated with anybody in the world and just go nuts, break rocks, chop trees. And then when, I guess you take the airplane to it. It's something to consider. Wait a minute. Does he stay down long enough? Please don't go away in this menu. He went away in the menu screen. Can you shake trees while holding a tool? Yes, you can. That's a nice addition. I like it. Guess I'm a brag worm. That one's dumb. I mean, they're all pretty dumb, but... I'm curious what requires weeds because there's a bunch here I'm also curious every day how many populate but yeah see this is already so much longer I don't know it's hard to tell like when I go back to the Animal Crossing GameCube it's very easy to make like a 20 minute 30 minute video max and have done everything but this is just a continuous thing, almost like you could play all day long and still just collect stuff. So the next question is, how do you record that in a timely fashion and stuff? Because I got the Zelda thing going on right now. And Metroid Zero Mission, which should be ending very soon. But I can't be doing like two hour long videos of this. I won't be able to render and upload it in time. Yeah, we'll just gather some wood and hopefully be able to build something new. Hopefully, hopefully hit some kind of a trigger so that I can craft something new, preferably the vaulting pole. Hey, something happened. Rough hewn. Oh, we gathered stuff from trees. Good. 300. All right, that seems to be... It's either 300 or 500. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should pay attention more to this. There might be a faster way. Why is it still red? Whatever. I understand if I stay very objective focused. What are you doing, bud? Oh yeah, my eyes messed up. Oh, neat. He has a recipe for medicine. Sweet. Maybe it's a cheaper to make yourself than to buy off a of Tom Nook. I don't know, fainting didn't really seem to have any repercussion. Well, yeah, that one. What do you need to make medicine? Oh, wasp nest. I knew I shouldn't have sold both of them. And clumps of weeds. Well, yeah, we clearly have enough of those. Ah, well. It'll go away in a day, right? If it's anything like the previous games. I guess the downside is if you are really far doing something specific and then it warps you back to your house. Uh 
Uh-oh. It's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy net. Crap. I need little sticks for that, too. Hey, we got a bug reward. Another 300. Hey, we're getting there. Freshly delivered egg. What does that have to do with the bugs? Yeah, okay. Well, he wasn't taking any more creatures, though. I guess we gotta wait for blathers now. Hey, look at that. There's a balloon present. Wait, is it like the first game where you just wait for it to bump into a tree, or is it you need a slingshot? That's why I'm not really talking much. I really don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. Just go, oh. I didn't know he was going for it that fast. I guess they updated the fish response time and distance. So I remember in the original game, it had to be like right in front of their nose. But we'll store the bagworm and wait until Blathers is here. Because we know we got to donate that one. And then in this spot... Um, never mind. Well, yeah, in my mind, I figured this would be pretty casual and we could talk about some real-life stuff or just do whatever. But I guess this first time, there's a lot of tutorial stuff to get through. And... see. Oh, wow. 8,000 bells. But now is that rock going to come back, though? It definitely took down one from the food meter. So, I'm curious if you had no food, if the rock would still be there. Interesting that she is not saying anything. But Lyman, at least when he was walking around with his net, I still had an, a menu prompt from him to ask him what was going on. Oops. Has anybody ever fallen asleep while playing a video game? Or just like slowly start to drift off? Like, this is the perfect game for it. I can just picture laying in bed in handheld mode. Just chopping trees. Next thing you know, you're nodding off. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to do this daily upload. Same day. But I might have to reschedule it and do a day late. Just to give myself a fair chance of getting it up there on time. I don't know yet. And obviously I still want to record some other games too in the background on the side of this, but... Zelda might have to go on hold for a little bit. Just two days until Zero Mission finishes up. Which I know it's stupid because Zelda's the more popular thing, but I mean, it's two days. And this will be the substitute, so it'll be Zero Mission and then this. And then Zelda will be back in the mornings. And then followed by this. That's the plan anyway for right now. curious what this does, but just kind of trying to craft some things first. Gathered some sticks, so maybe now. We gotta get a net back again, though. That's the same thing. Everything I collect, I'm gonna use again to build another flimsy thing. Ah, still nothing new. I guess I should pay more attention to the Nook Miles at this point. All 
right, everything is still the same to sell. What is the toolbox? Is that actually... That's just a piece of furniture, right? That's not gonna be anything. The thing is, I don't know what's a trigger for something new and what's not. Like right now, it seems to be kind of just waiting on me to get the 5,000 miles. But before, it was like every new thing, Tom Nook was like, Oh, wait a minute, by the way, since you just gave me three guys, here's a new gift for you. Like maybe selling five rounds of stuff to this guy or something will trigger something new. I don't know like what I'm gonna need tomorrow, for example. So... I don't know if I'm gonna kick myself for selling all the fruit and whatever. Can't go in their houses, okay. Had to check. That makes sense, that's like the older games. That's a huge fish, dude. The fishing rod isn't broken. Nice, first try. This is a regular bass, I'm assuming. It looks so good though, black bass. The most metal of all fish. I don't get it. Unless they're going with the base pun. I don't know. I'm also really tired, so my brain's not really firing on all cylinders here. But we know we gotta turn that in, and Tom Nook stopped taking stuff, so we might as well store him in here. Seriously, look at the details on that guy. I mean, I guess in another game it would look bad, but... Thinking of p previous Animal Crossing games, trash tools, what? Wow, our net broke and that gave us miles. I'll take it. Look, phone life. We're getting closer. Well, maybe we are going to keep going then. There's a bulletin board thing. Okay, I guess that sleep thing was just for the intro. Now the bed is just what you expect it to be. Alright, let's see if we can get some more miles here. Something happened. In the time that I went to and from my tent, We put more furniture in our house. Get more miles. Nice. Oh, yeah. See, if it keeps rapidly coming like that, we're going to hit the 5,000, no problem. Got to start focusing on it and gather some more sticks because I do need to replace the, the net. What is this? A serving cart. And something happened on the phone. More miles? Yes! Tell me it's because I found furniture in the tree. Shady Shakedown. Yep, it is exactly that. There's different tiers of this, though, I wonder. Yeah, we're really close now. If stuff like this keeps happening. That's good. I would like to see whatever the next trigger is. What can I say about the town name? I feel like I haven't really even fully explained that yet. Kind of. I just thought it was, it fit myself and Animal Crossing as a whole. 
And it's not all negative, it's... It's happy, too. I figured calling it an Animal Crossing town name... It's almost like an oxymoron of sorts. Because even though the definition is all about a home that you can't go back to... In a way, here I am back playing Animal Crossing, so it's kind of like a play on the word itself, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's like being stuck in the past a little bit, but... That's kind of the whole point, right? Even though it's called New Horizons. <laughs> I don't know. Still nothing. We just gotta get those 5,000 miles, man. What can I craft? I just gathered a whole bunch of stuff. Can get the... The net back. But... Well... That's probably the most important, right? 13? I don't know what about- the iron nugget must come from a rock and it must be kind of rare compared to the stone itself. The torch would be neat. Let's do it. We put that right by the tent. Probably- probably look pretty neat at nighttime. That'll be tricky though. Like if I maintain this morning schedule just in order to get the video up at nighttime. That means we're never going to see the nighttime hours. I don't know, man. I really have no idea how to do this. Hey, that'll look good on the beach or something. I might regret wasting the tree branches because they seem... Not overly quick to collect. I just want to explore the rest of the town. I'm waiting for that pole vaulting thing. And from my understanding, the terraforming that you can do that we've seen in trailers and reviews and stuff, that doesn't come till like weeks of playing. Which is slightly disappointing, but I guess maybe it's, it's fine. What? I'm confused as to why there's no room. Unless... Well, what could we, we could put the campfire down here. Gotta be a way to get more menu space, too. Yeah, that's neat. I fell asleep on the beach one time. In a chair. I wasn't, like, on the sand. What is this thing? Does it do anything? Eh. That's a thing to sell immediately. <laughs> were in the way. That'd be so weird, but also kind of makes sense. Where's the tiki torch? Yep, that's what it was. Okay, now let's put it where I actually want it. Oh, that's as close as it goes? Alright, well. At least it lights up the tent area. Might look cool at night. I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. And since this is currently daily... Like, the day that I'm playing is the day that it goes up. You can let me know. If you would mind. If I started doing it a day behind, so the day that you watch it is actually yesterday that I played. 
I hope that doesn't happen with this episode, but I don't know how long it's going to take to upload. Uh, we shall see. We could get, we're kind of clogging the inventory with weeds. Nine hundred and fifteen, yeah, so they don't sell too for too much. As to be expected. What just happened? Greedy weeder. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Messy lawn clippings. Nine hundred points away. We could do it. Hang in there. Flower power, okay, well we worked on that. I guess we just got, that's probably something we do have to wait a full day for. Cast your line without screwing up, okay. I would be closer, but I screwed up a bunch. Edit credit, your passport has some information you can edit. Okay, that'll be a quick thing. Bulletin board. So I imagine just do something stupid on it and you can just get the miles. Alright. That's what we gotta do. I kept on saying it, but... We gotta actually do it now so we can wrap things up here. So, create post is plus. I don't know. I really don't really want to mess with this too much, so I'll just say hello. What are all these pencils up here? Oh, let's go with the blue one. I wonder if playing in handheld mode, if you could actually use the touch screen. Interesting, but we'll just do that for now and see if that worked. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to. All right. So what was the other one? Editing the passport. Uh, add a comment. That's another thing. I'm drawing a blank right now. I don't know what to comment on here. What's the difference between that and title? Oh. These are all the words, okay. That we've been unlocking. So deserted island relocator. This is weird, is this what you call yourself? Let's see, down and out. <laughs> City folk, okay. Well, we got to do something to edit it to get the points. Lawn clippings. Influencer. Down and out lawn clippings. There you go. That is my title for now. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, hey, it, it earned some miles. Is it the 600 we need? Nothing's been 600. 300, okay. Future Traveler, huh? Island Shutterbug, what do we do? Just take a picture? So it may seem. Let's do that real quick and that'll give us the 5,000. Uh, this'll do, right here. I was gonna go to the campfire by the beach, but now how does this work? All right, it saves on the switch. You can't really spin the camera, it seems. At least I have, I don't really know how. Pressing R makes them whistle, but I, and it shows eyes, but I don't really know. Does this make everybody look up? I'm assuming the emotions are something you have to unlock, since I don't see anything about that. 
Whatever. Let's just see if that crosses the 5,000 mark or hits it exactly. Yes. Okay, let's see what happens now. Hopefully it's not anything that I'm going to want to keep doing because we really got to wrap things up here. About my moving fees. My hope is that this is going to unlock a whole bunch of more recipes like the vaulting pole and all that. Uh, the tent is fine, I guess. Barren wasteland? I mean, it kind of is. We're stuck on a third of it. Ah, uh, yes. The infamous Tom Nook house upgrade. Wait, is this a new thing? The Nook Stop. What is that? Is that where I am now? No, this is the other thing. I'm confused. Nothing seems to have happened except for this. Moving fees paid. Nice. Autonomous life, huh? Well, what happened? We didn't get anything. About my home. Have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move? Okay, so I guess we gotta do... Or we do have to... 98,000 bells! Uh... I guess? I'm just trying to advance the game so more stuff gets open. So I'm assuming... It's not going to interfere with anything else. Oh, okay, the roof colors. I always go with either, well, black sometimes, blue or green. Blue, aqua, and green. All of these are good. I guess we'll just stick with standard blue for now. Okay, here we go. Phone upgrade. That's a good sign, I think. Nook Miles Plus Benefits. Okay. The home should be ready tomorrow. Okay, that's good. Something new to start things off. Nook Miles Plus. Yeah, okay. Even easier to earn miles. Okay. Okay, what is all this? Times two is the reward. So it's still all the same stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of confused by it, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. Maybe next episode or whatever. Well, I think this is... <laughs> it's almost two hours long. That's ridiculous. I was not expecting that, to be honest with you, but... Hopefully, as we carry on, we can get a better grip and trim down the episodes and have them be more focused and stuff. But I'm kind of just winging it, to be honest, as you do in this kind of a game. So, let's save and end, yes. So hopefully this is enjoyable and not super boring or anything. And... Hopefully we'll have, like I said, more focus to it going forward, and you can let me know if you mind if it's a day late or whatever, and not the same day that I play, the same day that it goes up. That would make it easier on me, but we shall see. 
All right, well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.